Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a highly requested vanity tour. So after I did my room tour, um, you guys said that you wanted to see me do a vanity tour and organization. So that is what today's video is going to be about. So here is the vanity. It is so cute and decorated for spring. So I'm also collabing in this video with two of my girlfriends here on YouTube. It is going to be Lindsay and Evita. So make sure you go and watch their videos after this one and see how they um, decorate and organize their vanities. So yeah, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. So we're going to be organizing and then I will give you a full tour of my vanities. So let's go ahead and get started. Also, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And yeah, become a part of the pink family. Girl, if you like pink, you are in the right place. So take a seat, get some snacks and enjoy the video.
Alrighty guys, so here is how the vanity looks. Everything is clean, organized, and now I am going to go through these drawers with you, show you how I organized, and I'm going to mention a few of my favorite products so you guys can get some new makeup if you're interested. So um, I already have my bag that I'm using for the day, my glasses, my compact mirror, and my tumbler. This is what I'm using for the day, so that's why I have it up here. But if you guys are wanting to know where to get this compact mirror from, I got it from Bling Art For You. Um, I'll link her down in the description so you guys can um, purchase one. She just opened up her shop. So um, let's go ahead and start with the drawers. So I'm going to move this tote bag. I had used it for a picture. Usually I put it on my door. So we're gonna go through the first drawer. So the first drawer here, nothing has really changed. I just added another bin and I kind of just like moved things around. I did take the big palettes out. So I just have like bronzers, highlighters. Okay, so I'm gonna mention like two products from here that I can't live without that you guys need to try. So of course my bronzer from Anastasia. I am in the shade Golden Tan. This, I use it every single day. I can't live without it, so best bronzer. And then a highlighter that I've been using at the moment that I'm obsessed with. This one is definitely a favorite. This one is from Ofra. It's just a little travel um, sized highlighter. I'm not sure if I got it in a boxy charm, but I found it in one of my drawers. It's in the shade Pillow Talk. You guys need to go and get this highlighter. It is just so beautiful for the inner corner, for the bridge of your nose. Um, and on your cheeks like this is just a stunning iridescent highlighter I'm obsessed with it so that's what I'm currently using right now and also these elf putty blushes this one is currently my favorite I'm not sure what the color is called but they only made like three shades so this is just the pinky shade I love this blush so much and I also have the peachy shade but like I said the pink tone one is my favorite so that's my favorite from that drawer that I recommend you guys get. Okay, so next drawer. We made a lot of progress with this drawer. You guys saw how crazy it looked. So I basically have all my brow products up here. I have my primers and more blushes here. So this is like lip products, um, cheek blushes. Another good cheek blush is this one from Milani. Super affordable. Um, I just have primers, um, this, is, this is from e.l.f., this is like a, a dewy highlighter stick. This is really good, it's in the shade Cool Berry, I've been using this one a lot as well. And then I just have lip balms. And then over here we have all my foundations and concealer. Um, this is the one from NYX, I haven't tried it yet but I've heard it's very good. Um, the current concealer that I'm using right now is the one from Too Faced and I really like it. Um, the foundation that I recommend you guys get is this NARS foundation. This is the new one. It is the Skin Light Reflecting Foundation. I love this, especially for summer. It gives you um, just enough coverage to make it look like your skin but better. And I feel like this is perfect for the summertime. So that is my absolute favorite foundation. And then over here I just have some new products that I have yet to open. So I just have a NARS foundation. Um, another skin um, skin serum and then I have a NYX um, brow product here that I've heard lots of good things about I haven't opened it yet so um, yeah I just have all that in there so you guys know that all my skincare is in here and I already moved it to the fridge so I will show you guys my fridge just here in a second so let me go to the next drawer so here is the next drawer this drawer was also so 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 ugly so I changed the bins and we've got all of my nail products here, nail files, um, nail clippers, glue, um, nail files, and then over here I have all of my press-on nails, um, extra press-on nails here, and then over here I have my lash glue, eyelash curler, scissors, tweezers, and then over here I have all of my hair removal products like little um, razors to shave your face and then I have like pimple poppers here and yeah that is pretty much everything in there. 
so we made progress we made lots of progress so this drawer didn't really change you guys saw it kind of looks the same because it was already organized I just have extra nails here that didn't fit um, I have uh, sugar bear multi gummies I have all of my liners mascaras and over here I just have all my lipsticks I have an extra Better Than Sex liner. This is probably one of my favorite eyeliners. They last so long and I feel like I can do a wing in like 10 seconds with this liner. So if you guys want to try a new liner, it's not new but it's just my favorite so you guys should try that one. Um, and yeah, so we have all that in there and then this drawer we have my hair products so this is all like my hair accessories oh my god this drawer was such a complete mess i ended up like throwing so many things and moving things so here i have all of my pink hair scrunchies black hair ties um i have bobby pins in here um, a lot of black mini rubber bands i have hair clips more hair clips um, more bobby pins and then over here I have my giant hair clips for when I'm styling my hair. And I just love how organized this drawer is because as you guys saw, it was not like that at the beginning of this video. And then this drawer, look how neat she is. So I had all of my hot tools in here and I wanted to put just my like hair products in here and my hair brushes. So I have my brushes here, all of my hair products. I have oils um, some really good oils that I like to use is this design me gloss um, and then I like to use this Mark Anthony coconut oil because my hair is super dry so I feel like I have to use so much of this to keep my hair quenched <laughs> so I use a lot of oils for my hair just because like I said my hair is not truly curly so it does tend to be dry so I have to like put so many things into my hair just to keep it um, moisturized and then I have I'm gonna recommend you guys two of these hair products that I really love I love this good behavior um, smoothing spray so I use this before I blow dry my hair and it's supposed to help for frizz and I just love the way it smells it smells so good and it really does help my hair and then I like to use this dry shampoo from Sol Janeiro I love the way the body spray smells. I love the way the lotion smells. I always get the um, body wash too. Like I have everything of this brand and when I saw they came out with a dry shampoo, I could not grab this fast enough and I love using this because I don't wash my hair every day. So when I do feel like my hair is getting a little bit oily at the roots, I will spray my hair with this and I love it. So I recommend you guys go and try that out. Um, I got this new brush from Forever 21. It is super cute and affordable. So yeah, I just have a lot of hair products in there. And then as you guys saw, I went ahead and moved my hot tools to this bin that I got from the at home store. Literally all of my hair tools are in there. So um, I, I love it because now it just looks neat and organized and they're not in the way. So that's what I like about it. Um, okay, so now I'm going to show you guys what's in my little skincare fridge and then we'll move to the other side. Or you know what, let me show you guys the other side and then I'll show you everything that's at the top. So over here, I just have some miscellaneous palettes that I don't use. Nothing really changed here. And then the next drawer, I did organize this a little bit. So I have all of my Too Faced palettes here, Anastasia palettes, some lashes. Um, some jewels that I used to put on my eyes because I was going through a euphoria stage <laughs> and I'm so sad it's over no more euphoria and I just have more um, eyeshadow palettes a mirror that I used the crap out of um, so that's everything in there okay next drawer is all of my wallets I did organize this one a little bit more it just looks more put together but basically I just like took out one of the little bins and just used bins for the card holders and then the big ones I just laid here nothing crazy but I like the way it looks it's nice and neat I always get questions about this selfie mirror that you put on your phone and the light turns on I got this from Ulta like maybe two years ago now so I don't know if they still have it but you can find these on Amazon you just put heart-shaped phone ring light and these will pop up 
Um, so they're easy to find, but I always get questions about that. Um, so next drawer, I had a ton of my hair extensions that you guys saw. So basically, I just put them inside of these makeup bags because I wanted to have them stored um, for when I go back to dark eventually. Not anytime soon, but um, this one has like two pairs of extensions. This one has my pink extensions from when um, in Halloween you guys saw that I put pink extensions in. And then this one has my dark brown extensions and this one also has pink extensions. So literally all these bags just have extensions in them. But it just looks better like this because it looks nice and organized. And next drawer, this drawer was just like random. It was mainly a lash drawer, but I just had random stuff in here. So I just went ahead and dedicated this to being a lash drawer. Such cases, more lashes. And then down here, I had all my tech items. I did organize this as well. So I just have all my phone cases here. Um, I have my Beats case with all the chargers. I have a planner. I have some keychains. And I just have like little wires and stuff that's for my camera. So that is pretty much everything that is in there. And then let's go to the top drawer. So here is the top drawer. Like I said, everything pretty much kind of stayed the same. I just organized and cleaned everything. So I just have some ColourPop palettes that I am currently in love with. So I don't know if you guys can still get this one, but you should look for it. It's called Blush Crush. This one I use quite often because now that my hair is red, I feel like I have to um, do pink and purplish eyeshadow. So it kind of like goes with my hair. I don't know, it sounds weird, but that's just how I feel. So um, I have a lot of pink eyeshadow palettes up here. Also the Norvina palette I've been using a lot because it has pink shades. All my collection of Too Faced glasses. I just love the packaging and I literally have every shade. I'm just obsessed with the packaging. I have an Amrezy palette, best packaging ever for an eyeshadow palette. I feel like if I were to create an eyeshadow palette, I would definitely copy her and do this packaging. And then over here, I just have more Too Faced palettes that I feel like I would use in the summer, spring time. And then I have a Carly Bible palette from Anastasia. Um, honestly, I really don't use this palette just because the colors. I feel like this is more for fall. Um, but I just love the packaging. It's super pretty, so I keep it up here just for looks. And then I have my highlighters. This is my favorite 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 highlighter and i think i saw it at ross one time so i need to go back and get it because i don't know if it's like actually being sold on their website anymore because this is such an old launch but this is the highlighter that i use and i have abused it so much but i wear this every single time i put my makeup on and it's just like a natural glow without looking too cakey or chalky it just looks like your skin glowing so that's why i love it so if i see it in ross again <laughs> i'm going to snatch it but i definitely need a backup of this and it is just in the shade fancy pink diamond so if you guys can find it get it and if your skin is a little bit more fair than mine try this shade this one is um, oh, it doesn't even say the shade name. I think it's because this is the very first one that came out. So this one is more of like a white iridescent color. So if you're more fair toned than me, um, I would get this one. Your complexion is a little bit darker than mine. I can still pull this one off, but I feel like this would look very, very beautiful on deeper skin complexions if you're very tan. Um, this one is so, 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 so beautiful. Like I said, I wear this once in a while, like maybe in the summer if I do get more tan, I can pull it off. But this is such a beautiful shade. This one is in the shade Canary Diamond. So if you guys can find that, get them. And then my favorite blush, oh, I need to go hunting for this blush. This one is called, um, Perfect Flush Blush. So it's just the one with the orange top on it because I know there's a a few other colors let me see if I can open this with one hand look how much I've abused this you guys like I need a backup because I've tried so many blushes I've gone through so many types of blushes to see if I can find a new favorite and for some reason I cannot I cannot stop going back to this one 
so I recommend this one if you guys already own it in your collection or if you see it at a Ross or a Marshalls or a TJ Maxx pick it up girl it is amazing it is gorgeous on the skin I've used this on so many clients and people are always like why does my skin look so good and I feel like this blush just does it so I cannot stop talking about those products but um, I also just have a mirror this is the mirror that I use most of the time when I'm doing my makeup this came from the Valentine's collection I think it was last year Too Faced launched this I don't know if they still have it um, but that was from two years ago I believe so yeah that is everything that I am obsessed with in this drawer that I like recommend to you guys so now I'm going to show you what is in my little skincare fridge so I just have all of the things that I want to keep cold I have my gua sha my little rose quartz rollers um, down here I have a lot of pixie products a lot of Too Faced products but the pixie products are probably my absolute favorite so um, yeah, I just have all of those in there, but that's how it looks. So super cute, I love it. And then over here I just have my flower box that I keep most of my lipsticks in. Do not skip out on these Milani lipsticks. They are so good. Um, so then on the next one I have some um, Anastasia lipsticks, Kylie lipsticks, and then over here, I just have all of my lip liners, lip scrubs, and a, the sharpener. I moved it up here. So that is everything that I have in there. And then I'm going to move my cup. So over here I just have my little phone stand that I put my phone on when I'm getting ready. And then I just have this little jewelry box from Grand Floors. They sent me this maybe three years ago and look how beautiful it still looks. So I am obsessed with it. I just keep it empty just because I think it looks aesthetically pleasing. I put some crystals at the bottom. I have my heart-shaped ring that I was wearing in the month of Valentine's. I got this from Amazon. You guys wouldn't believe it. I love it. And then over here I have my brush holders that you guys can find on my website. I am actually working on building my own website right now. I have an Etsy shop but I am trying really really hard to get my website going as soon as possible because Etsy has been <laughs> not good to me lately so I am going to go ahead and get my own website so I will announce on Instagram and stuff when that website is ready but hopefully by the end of this coming week I'll have it up so you guys can shop and then um, over here I have an organizer from for her vanity so she sent me this last year during Valentine's but I think it's pretty to keep up through spring um, I just have my favorite lotions in here at the moment which is um, peach Prosecco Macron from Bath and Body Works my favorite and then this one is also my favorite it's the champagne sprinkles sorry cars passing by champagne sprinkles I always get asked what I'm wearing when I spray this on me so um, those are my favorites currently and then I just have my setting spray here the watermelon one from Too Faced it is so good and then over here I just have this Riki Riki mirror so I've had this for a few years but I haven't used it in the past year it's it was sitting in one of my drawers but this is a good um, lighted LED mirror that you can take with you when you travel or just um, take with you like if you're doing your makeup in your bed or in your bathroom this is a good um, mirror so I just wanted to go ahead and put it out um, and then I have a little candle here from Bath and Body Works it is positively sweet I love the way this smells and I love the packaging and then back here I just have a rose bouquet by Grand Floors and um, I think that is everything that is on my vanity you guys the light is from Amazon and I made the garland myself and yeah that is pretty much everything I hope y'all enjoyed it and don't forget to go and watch my friends videos that I also collabed with today with Lindsay and Evita don't forget to watch their vanity tours and don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know what you guys want me to film next so thank you guys so much for watching this video and until next time I will try I will most likely see you guys next Wednesday 
so thank you guys so much for watching i love y'all and see y'all in the next video Mwah. bye